everyone, it's Amanda from Crystal Coast Originals. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited to show you guys this video. It is a video of a pearl pour and I haven't done these in a very long time. I just started creating them again and it's probably been at least a year if not longer since my last pearl pour that I had done before. And the reason that I had stopped was not because I didn't enjoy them, because I do. I think they're beautiful paintings. But it was impossible for you to get <laughs> deco art satin enamel, which is one of the main ingredients that you need to create a pearl bore. And I know people now have started using bare satin enamel. I haven't used that yet. I've always used deco art. It's always worked great for me. But there was a time when you could not find it anywhere. You couldn't find it in stores, you couldn't find it online, even Amazon did not have it. <laughs> and they did not know when they were going to be restocked. So because of that, I kind of shifted gears and started doing the Dutch pours and the, the bloom technique and, and things like that. But I'm glad that now we have plenty of deco art satin enamel, so I'm able to do these pearl pours again. I wanted to show you guys the dried results of the video that you're going to be seeing today. It is a large canvas. It's a 24 by 30 inch canvas and I'm loving how it turned out. I'm really liking the colors. I personally really like to do these pearl pours on bigger canvases. That is just my, my personal preference. I think they look so cool, kind of almost otherworldly mystical. I am loving this little pearl pour right here. That's like my favorite. It's just so organic, just where it just pops up right there in the middle. But you can definitely do these type of pours on smaller canvases. I have yet to do them because like I said, I just enjoy the bigger ones. Um, I like the aesthetic of those. But I definitely do want to try them on some smaller canvases. I will list my formula that I used for these pearl pours in the description box. I kind of took from Sarah Taylor Modern Art as well as Pieces of Terra Artistry. I kind of took from their formulas. And if you guys have not seen any videos from these ladies, you definitely have to check them out. Sarah Taylor does some of the best pearl pours I have ever seen. I could watch her videos all day. She is so creative and inspiring. And Tara also does incredible ones as well. She has a really cool technique where she mixes pearl pours and Dutch pours and the results turn out fabulous. So I definitely suggest you checking out the channels of these ladies. I will leave the link to their channel in the description box for you to see. As for the puddle colors, the colors that I pulled on top of the base coat, that is one that I kind of made up myself, that formula. So I will list that in the description box as well. One last thing before we get into the video, if you've never done a pearl pour before or if you've never seen one done, it takes a while for the reaction to occur and for all the pearl cells to pop up. What you'll see in the video is me pouring the base layer, then the puddle colors, and then I stretch the colors over the canvas. After that, I just set the canvas down. I don't do anything else to it. And after about 20-30 minutes, I usually come back and then I look at the progress and that's when you can see most of the pearl cells that have popped up. In the video you will see some of the pearl cells that have popped up around the edge but for all the pearl cells to pop up like I said it takes about 20 to 30 minutes sometimes a little bit longer. This video will stop after I have stretched all the colors on the canvas. I did not film the entire process of all the pearl cells popping up Although I would like to do that in the future, maybe do some type of time lapse so you guys can see all the pearl cells popping up. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.